Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about all things adulting. In this video, we're going to be comparing Wahid and Best Invest to determine which is the best. Before we dive into the differences between both, let us look into the similarities between both. First off, both of them are Shara compliant. And secondly, both of them also allow recurring deposit. And lastly, both of them are rather passive form of investment. Now that we have covered the similarities, let us look into the differences from three aspects. The first, it is the minimum deposit followed by portfolio composition and the fees. So let us look into the minimum deposit and see which is the best. The minimum deposit for Wahid is 100 ringgit, while the minimum deposit for Best Invest is 10 ringgit. In terms of minimum deposit, Best Invest is a better option due to lower minimum deposit. The main difference between both is that Wahid invests in a portfolio of ETF, while Best Invest invests in a portfolio of Unit Trust. So you may be wondering, how is ETF different from Unit Trust? ETF is generally passively managed, while Unit Trust is actively managed by a fund manager. ETF is traded on an exchange where they are constructed to track a specific index, for example S&P 500, while unit trusts are traded via private channels, whereby fund managers actively pick stocks based on the theme of the fund. However, currently in the market, there are a few alternative public platforms that you can buy unit trusts from like FSM1, which I will be covering in my future videos. Since unit trust is actively managed, you can expect the fees to be higher than ETF has actively managed fund usually requires employment of research analysts to examine companies has potential investments, whereas ETF or passively managed fund just replicates a given index. With regard to portfolio composition, Wahid invests in a portfolio of ETFs. Their portfolio options ranges from very conservative to very aggressive. And one more interesting thing about Wahid is that they allow thematic portfolios, which allows you to invest in gold or US stocks. If you'd like to know more information on this, you can check this video out. Here is something more exciting. Wahid just recently notified their investors that they will soon be adding four additional thematic portfolios that I plan to cover in my future videos. So do subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss this video. Best Invest invest in a portfolio of unit trusts. There are five unit trusts for you to choose from. And for equities, unit trusts mostly are globally diversified. However, unlike Wahid, you are not able to specifically invest in US stocks or gold. So the question is, which is better? Well, in terms of portfolio composition, Wahid is better because they have a bigger variety of portfolio options for you to choose from. As for the fees, both of them have no sales charge, no redemption or withdrawal charges. However, there is an annual management fee that charges up to 0.79% for Wahid and up to 1.8% for Best Invest. If you consider yourself to be cost sensitive, Wahid will be a better option for you because the fees is lower. In conclusion, both will be suitable for my Muslim friends as both of them are Sharia compliant. However, in my opinion, Wahid has the upper hand in two of the aspects that we have discussed. The first, it is portfolio composition followed by fees. And Best Invest would actually be suitable for people who want to start investing with a minimum deposit as low as 10 ringgit. Remember to ask yourself a few questions before deciding which of these you plan to invest in too. Number one, are you cost sensitive? If you are cost sensitive, Wahid will be a better option for you due to its lower fees. Second, what kind of exposure do you want? If you want to invest just in US stocks, you would choose to invest in Wahid. Lastly, is your investment objective to beat the market or to match the index? If your investment objective is to beat the market, you will stand a better chance in achieving that by investing in Best Invest as your funds will be actively managed by a fund manager. If you'd like to know more information on Best Invest and Wahid, you can check these videos out. That's all from me. Bye!